Hey there, Team Nasarama. So today we are out test riding the gorgeous Triumph Street Triple 675R. This is the R model. Um, so uh, let's see. Let's uh, let's go for a little test ride. Take it up and down some streets. Go on the highway and uh, see how it goes. So yes, this is the R model, um, which is the like upgraded, upgraded model of the Street Triple. Um, it's not quite the same as the Daytona 675R. The 675, the Daytona R is basically a full track ready bike. Um, it has the upgrade, it has Brembo brakes, it has the Olin s suspension, you know, it's, it's a track ready bike. The Street Triple R model doesn't get quite as much of that because it's, it's a street bike. Um, it gets, uh, it gets bigger, beefier uh, Nissan brakes, um, uh, more adjustable suspension, that kind of stuff. Um, but it doesn't get quite all the goodies that the Daytona 675R does. Which is, uh, it's all right, you know. Um, when you're buying a, a Daytona 675R, you're basically buying a track bike. I mean, it's it's a straight up race bike. Um, where with the Street Triple, you're you're buying a street bike. Um, this is a, you know, it it has the uh, same motor as the 675R or the 6, 7, the Daytona, excuse me, has the same motor as the Daytona does. Um, it's tuned differently though. It's tuned for low end power, or excuse me, low end torque, um, as opposed to a high revving um, Daytona. Um, it still revs up, but you can see it redlines at like 13,000, so it still still has, uh, still goes plenty high up there, um, has plenty of high range power, but um, it's definitely more of a street bike. Um, Upright seating position. Oh god, this thing is extremely comfortable. Um, I just I feel like I'm on the Gladius, but like more badass, basically. Yeah, yeah, get over. Um, you know, more more power and uh, more pep to it. Calm down, bro. Guy bumper or uh, tailgating me. So this is a 2013 model. Um, it is used. It has a has like it has a thousand miles on it. So I mean, huh, what's what's the difference? Um, but it's a uh, wow. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun so far. So let's get down uh, get down here on the highway. See how she accelerates. See how she feels at highway speeds. Um, go from there. Feels very well planted to the ground. Let's get a little acceleration. Woo! Man. You know, they say, uh... They say that the Street Triple doesn't have the same power as the Daytona, but... Wow, it feels like it feels just like I'm riding a Daytona, which is amazing. Um, tons of power. Sounds great. It's This bike is stock. It has uh, different rear sets on it, but exhaust and engine all stock. And it sounds, it sounds amazing for a stock machine. This one has the factory uh, option windshield, a uh, little mini windscreen. It helps, it does help a little bit. I can still, uh, I still have a pretty good, um, you know, still have pretty good air hitting my, my face at least, my helmet. But uh, definitely I can feel the reduction on my chest. Um, it makes it a little bit, a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more easy to sit. Um, like I said, it does have a very upright sort of seating position. However, it is a little bit more aggressively stanced, at least than the Gladius is. Um, the Gladius is even more upright than this. This, uh, the bars are just a little bit further forward on this machine compared to the Gladius. Um, 
and uh, gives it a little bit more lean forward, aggressive feeling riding stance without being like uncomfortably so. Um, and that's not to say that, say, the Daytona is uncomfortable or anything like that, but it just has a very, uh, a great mix of aggressive forward stance with upright comfort. Um, I can certainly say that. It's a, it's a very nice balance and mix between the two. Um, I'm extremely comfortable on this machine. Uh, I've only been on the only been on it for a little bit, but the seat feels very comfortable. Um, even the stock mirrors are very nice. They're nice and big, nice and wide. I can see very easily. They don't bounce around too much like a lot of cheap stock mirrors do. So that's very a very nice bonus. Um, doing very well on the highway so far. Nice and comfortable. <laughs> sounds amazing for a stock bike um, you know these these triumph triples just automatically sound great but even man with a with a stock exhaust stock exhaust uh, stock exhaust this thing sounds great um, and uh, yeah it's just wow what a beast of a, a machine It's just up to speed. No effort. Minimal effort. Just goes. That's my kind of bike. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, a lot of riding the FZ09. Um, and of course they're both triples, but the FZ09 is larger. And however, this uh, you know this still feels just as peppy and as powerful almost as the uh, as the FZ09 does um, and I you know I haven't ridden both bikes extensively I haven't gone full throttle out like crazy on both of them so I can't you know I can't really compare them but it just uh, it feels like it has the same amount of pep as a larger as a larger triple um, it, it just feels great it does um, this is a, a bike I could easily hang on to, needless to say. The shift from uh, first to second is a little long. I keep hitting neutral, but that's always expected when you're on the bike for the first time. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna miss those shifts a little bit, but other than that, man. Woo! Man, the, the brakes feel so strong. Like, I feel like I could just stop on a dime on these brakes. Um, Whoops, I'm in first. I keep, that's the thing, I, uh, it's hard to tell where neutral is and I keep, I keep shifting into first when I want to shift into neutral and I keep shifting into neutral when I want to shift into second. <laughs> A minor obstacle on an amazing machine like this. Cruises very well at, at higher RPMs. Um, well, you know, higher RPMs as in 5,000 in second. It, it cruises very nicely. Oh, it sounds great in a tunnel. Insider knowledge for you guys. Um, my next bike will either be probably either be one of these, or it will be a FZ07. And I haven't test ridden the FZ07 yet, but after riding this thing today, the FC07 is going to have to have a lot. Uh, it's going to have to really blow me away to surpass this bike. Um, that's my. That's what I can say about it. I mean, it's a. 
it's just too much fun. It's too, it's too great. It's too comfortable. It's too great. <laughs> So guys, I'm returning this to the dealership. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I can easily recommend this machine. I can easily recommend this machine. It's an amazing, amazing bike. Um, I, it's like number one choice now for, for our next machine, because it's, wow. So with that, I will head out for now. I recommend this bike. Somebody got booted, that sucks. Go try this thing out. If, you're, uh, if you want a middleweight naked bike, there you go, man. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. I will talk to y'all later. Nasarama out.